What's going on everybody? If you want to know what you need to do with the inside of your horn in order to drink with it, this video is for you. If you just want to see me use my favorite process to seal this horn, jump to 2 minutes and 15 seconds, or just hang out here and you'll see some other options. Before we get to any of them, we need to clean and cure our horn. If you get a horn that hasn't had this done to it, when you use it, it's going to get some pretty nasty smell usually. So going about curing and sealing it is important. So soak it for an hour in hot water mixed with some dish soap. Then scrub it with a bottle brush if you have one. After that, to help get rid of any leftover odor or smell, you can use a mix of 50% water and 50% alcohol. Let the solution soak for 24 hours and top it up as it evaporates. Then when the time is up, rinse it out and let it dry. If you want your seal to be really natural but wear off pretty quickly, then you can seal it with dark beer or alcohol. You can look around online and find more information on that if you really want to do it but it's definitely not my preferred method. My first real viable option for you guys, if you have it available to you, is Brewer's Pitch. It can be a little smelly and messy, but it's certainly a solid way of lining all sorts of drinking vessels and has been used by many people for years. The next option is Beeswax. Now, it's definitely not as resilient as Brewer's Pitch, but given how easy it is to come by, it's lovely smell, ease of use, pretty cheap, this is a great option. Cold liquids only, of course, but melting some beeswax, pouring it into your horn, swirling it around, and almost immediately being able to toss a beer in it is a pretty great idea. You will end up reapplying it fairly regularly, and obviously you can't get it too hot because it's wax, and it will melt, so don't leave it out in the sun. And obviously this is a natural way of doing your horn, and that's important to some people. Salad bowl finish is easy to find, hot or cold beverages, and an extended time before you need to reapply it, but this is a solid choice. Now for me, there is definitely a clear winner, and that is food grade epoxy. I've linked the one I use here in the description of this video. It's a two-part epoxy, so some minor prep, but once again, you can drink hot or cold beverages out of it, like the salad bowl finish, but this time around, it never wears off. And so there is a permanent barrier between your drink and the horn itself. This horn has been cleaned, cured, and scrubbed. And now I'm just sanding it to make sure it's got a nice abrasive area for the epoxy to latch onto. I don't know if it's 100% necessary, but it's a good first step. I'm blowing it out with a bunch of air. And then I'm gonna, just going to use this 99% alcohol and going to wipe around the inside to get rid of any leftover residue. Not all epoxy is created equal. Make sure you're using a food grade epoxy like this Max Clear here. It's really straightforward. You just do two parts of A and one part of B and mix it up. Make sure you mix it really well. And it's gonna stay really viscous for quite a while. So depending on what you're coating with it, if you decide that you wanna coat mugs or bowls or other items, you're going to have to keep an eye on it so it doesn't pool and get uh, uneven. So for me, that meant turning my horn and then taking a look at it and turning it again as it slowly cured over a couple of hours. And in the end, it turned out pretty good. I did end up using way too much of this stuff. So if you're doing a horn, maybe even half of what you saw here with what I was doing, half. Maybe even less, maybe a quarter, but... Uh, Half is an easy, safe bet. You'll definitely have enough. You can see in the container there, there's a ton left over. Make sure you clean up your horn before everything sets, or you're going to have to be dealing with epoxy firmly dried onto all of your horn. I love the finish on this. You don't even notice it's there. There you have it, everybody. Now, if you want to decorate that horn, be sure to check out my video on that. I'll link it right here. Make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Hit that notification button so you don't miss any of my content. And until next time, keep on being creative in whatever it is you do.